Hey guys, now that I reviewed uh, the little Aston, Aston Martin DBS, I decided, well, it's time to review his big brother. I don't know if uh, this car shares the same uh, model as the little one, and since I don't, I'm not aware of that information, I will call this guy the Aston Martin Vanquish. Or Vanish as they call it in, in the Diana Ding. Like I said in my DBS review, this is the car Pierce Brosnan used for his last movie as James Bond, the Aston Martin Vanquish. I got this car at a uh, Sharper Image store, if I'm not mistaken, uh, at around uh, 2003, 2004, more or less. And if you see, we have Mr. Spider-Man seated here. Of course, this car does not come with Spider-Man, but I decided just to put him there because I don't like uh, to display my cars uh, with no pilot and everything. Now, if if anybody, if someone uh, or anybody knows where I can find a uh, James Bond. Uh, figure which can fit inside this car, well, let me know. Please let me know where I can get it. Uh, onto the car. This car is amazingly well detailed. Personally, I don't like uh, silver cars, but in this case, I don't mind at all. The headlights are amazingly well detailed. We see the Aston Martin logo here. The grill. Uh, and everything else. The grill does open up to reveal uh, a little surprise, which I will be showing you in a few minutes. We see the holes, two holes in here, which reveal another surprise. Uh, the wheels are amazingly well detailed as the rest of the car. We see the door up here. Of course, both doors open up. The rear view mirrors are a little soft. They, uh, if you move move them around too much, they will fall off. As my car is uh, showing them to you right now. We have the ejector seat which is activated by pressing this little lever I think yeah if you press uh, the lever the seat pops off and of course the roof to return the seat back to its original position just simply uh, press it down fingers crossed let me uh, Hope I don't break it. Well, take my word for it. It, it does uh, come down. I'm having a little trouble with it right now, but it doesn't matter. We see the back of the car with, I believe, uh, some seat belts or something. Again, more detailed, more detail in the car. Of course, we see. Um, the gasoline unit here. Forgot to show you uh, the other mirror. I don't know if you can see it well. Uh, the steering wheel, which again has absolutely amazing detailing. The dashboard, uh, the handbrake, the the pedals. Spider-Man gets in the way, but I'll, I'll take it out. Like I said, the pedals, uh, the brake, the handbrake, the seats are amazingly de detailed. It's a very, very nice car. We see the headlights, the exhausts, some more lights on the bottom, and the truck, which opens up 
and features only a uh, fire extinguisher which is not very much but well I don't mind it's fine by me and someday I will lower the seat now like I said this comes this car comes with uh, some features which I will be showing to you right now I've showed you the uh, Ejector seat. Now I'll show you. I said earlier this part opens up. The bonnet opens up. It does open up and shows us the engine and all. But that's not what I'm what I really want to show you. What I want to show you is what the uh, the compartments on the bonnet are for. Just for giggles, uh, this car is a V12 according to the engine. It says so right here, V12. The holes are for two little submachine guns. For those of you who have seen the movie, know what I'm, will know what I'm talking about. Uh, this car has uh, machine gun, submachine guns and pop off. Now, onto one of the best features I've ever seen in uh, rather a toy or whatever is uh, this part here. Remember I told you the grill opened up to reveal a little surprise. Well, the little surprise are Four firing rockets. I don't know if you can see them here. If not, please take my word for it. Uh, reveals two, I'm sorry, four firing rockets. If you've seen the movie, you will know what I'm talking about again. Now, how can you activate the feature, you ask? The feature is activated by pressing this lever up, pulling the lever up. And if you if you do so, the rockets will be exposed. If you want to conceal them, pull the lever down. That's just it. Again, it's a very, very nice car. I absolutely love it. Of course, I show you the injectable roof. Uh, I'd say 100% um, screen accurate. I would have liked if uh, they put a little bit more features uh, on the car such as the uh, the nails on the wheels like in the movie but well it's, it's still a nice car I guess I don't have much to say about this uh, I'll be signing off now hope you enjoyed this review I'll be reviewing more figures soon Till next time take care and may the force be with us all